On this video today, we're going to be talking about a 1965 LSX GTO that we custom built a full center console in. The customer had actually did an LSX swap on this vehicle and a six speed swap. So the whole entire transmission tunnel had to be completely modified and raised. So also the actual electronics and fuse panel and fuse block is all located on top of the actual transmission tunnel. If you watch in the beginning of this video, it will show you. So we had our work cut out for us for building the center console to be able to fit over all those things and put the radio in that basically sits on top of the fuse panel and all the wiring. So this actual radio has a single DIN chassis to be able to fit it, but it also has a double DIN face. So all the pieces that were made on this are also modular to where they will come up with neodome magnets so that that way if he has to access any wiring or fuses or anything that would have a problem, he could actually get in there and do that himself. Um, all the pieces were handcrafted and handmade, also covered in leather, carbon fiber. Um, there's lots of different materials that we used on this particular center console to make it look like it was retro or made for the vehicle itself. Um, we also did a Sony double din head unit that has Bluetooth in it. Um, we also took the steering wheel actual rim off and recovered it because he had a lot of tears and lacerations in the steering wheel. So we fixed all that for him as well. Um, in all, we put a lot of hard work into the center console, and if you watch throughout the video, um, it will kind of show how much hard work and determination put into this to make it look like it was part of the vehicle. We actually have made the center console almost two to three times because we made it, we didn't like parts of it, we changed it, and then this is the actual final product of what has actually came out with it, and we are super happy with the way it turned out. <laughs> This is what we have so far not an easy task to build by any means because all the fuse holders are up here it's got a transmission tunnel in it that is astronomically large and wide I mean that's basically the transmission tunnel it's sitting on on top of it and then all the wiring underneath here there's so many harnesses down here so this is definitely not an easy one to do by far so this is the structural support at least we have that built to where we can start making every other piece on top of it.
replace these Alpine Type S's in the rear with all new Focal 6x9's as well.
what's underneath the console. That way, all new transmission tunnel, everybody knows what we're dealing with underneath this console, so why it had to be built so intricate to be able to make it work. That's what our radio is basically sitting on top of. before pretty McNasty it's a little tore up it's cut out right so what I do is there's a little dust right there but we should be alright I draw where I'm gonna put the glue okay because you don't want to do the whole fucking thing and waste a whole bunch of stinking you know, glue, because this shit's expensive. Okay? And then I'll take this off, put it over here. This is where it gets exciting. So then, I go probably about, maybe about an inch outside of it, because you gotta wrap it around, you know what I'm saying? So if you wanna do that all the way around, I'll let you do that. And then, we're basically gonna do the same thing on this piece, okay? Did a real good job on this. Here's what you want to do. You good? What you don't want to do is you don't want to let it puddle. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Puddling that. equals nastiness. And then when you're doing this piece, this is the hard piece, okay? So you want to make sure that when you're doing this, you want to get it as even as possible. You don't want it to yeah. puddle, you don't want it to drip, you don't want it to if you get it, if it starts dripping or puddling and then you don't do this fast enough it'll do what happened with the, those carbon pieces I did where it dries too quick and then all of a sudden it's drying and then you're brushing big globs and it, trust me, it will look like booty hole. See, you gotta be real careful. I'm over here brushing and I'm end up making mistakes.
All right, we got our new console installed, looking really good. Wiley's gonna come over here and tell us what he thinks about it. What do you think, Wiley? Who that crazy man? Who who, who that be? Who that be? <laughs>